Hello once again everyone. Well this vacuum cleaner model S4334 used to belong to somebody called Fred. It says property of Fred on it but it now belongs to somebody called Roger. This is a Hoover Spirit. A very very basic cheap machine from I think the late 80s mid to late 80s. I can't recall exactly when this is from could be about 86 i had one of these of course back in the day um i can't remember how much it was when i had one of these from brand new but it was certainly in the budget end i mean it was about 50 pounds which of course nowadays you can get a budget vacuum cleaner from your local supermarket for 30 something this though unlike those supermarket cleaners you can buy now is made in britain Made in Scotland, I would say. Now, I hope it's okay, because let me just check how much it costs me, because it's very, very cheap. Um, it only cost, the winning bid for this was £5.50, and the postage was £6.49. So, I had a feeling that the seller possibly didn't want to sell it so cheap, and was not going to complete the sale. I've had that happen before, where I've had no contact from the sellers, and um, I've just had to get a refund from eBay. Here are two tubes that come with this Hoover Spirit. Plastic, of course, at this uh, price point, and they're just push fit tools. Very unlike most tools that Hoover supplied, they don't have a lock ring. These are the same tubes as supplied with the gray Porter Power, also from this sort of time period. So there's, I think everything is included with this. There is a hose, slightly, oh that's pretty poor the way that's fitted on. I think that's slightly different to the hose I had, I'm not sure, I had a hose and I thought it had more of the freedom. This would fit a Hoover Freedom actually, and it would fit a port of power, so it's quite basic hose end, and again very basic, would also fit a Hoover Jet. So the Hoover Jet had this handle type as well quite a short hand grip and you've got of course your little suction control there so there's that now this certainly was supplied it's quite tatty this it'll clean up this type of nozzle was supplied with my grey porter power if you want to see that video I'll put a link somewhere so basically this is your carpet nozzle very very basic and I think it was made in France yes it does it's made in France this nozzle and for doing your hard floors a little bit dirty but it'll clean up it'll clean this clips on so now you've got a hard floor brush also quite a nice actually I quite liked this nozzle you get an all-purpose nozzle and I think you do get a crevice tool. I don't know if this was ever supplied with... Oh, it's got the instructions. I don't know if this was ever supplied with the dusting brush, being a basic model. Well, we've got a lovely pack. £2.75. A lovely pack of genuine Hoover uh, bags. These fit the Hoover Freedom. Certain freedoms, not early freedoms. Fits the Hoover Power Glide, which this machine is based on. I've got a Power Glide. You can check my um, channel if you want to see the Power Glide video. Um, so this is based on the Power Glide body. And of course it says it fits the Hoover Spirit. And here, for some reason, we've got another bag. I'm not sure if this is the correct one, actually. Can't see the bag collar through here. Uh, we've got uh, Sainsbury's brand. Oh, it does say it fits the Power Glide and Spirit as well. So there are Sainsbury's brand vacuum bags there. We have a uh, guarantee card. So the serial number is 50902077. I think it's 87. It could be 87, this machine. Anyway, they've obviously not filled out the card. Hoover After Sales Service. Oops, there's something else. Oh, I've got the original receipt by the looks of it. 
So there's your aftercare um, details there. Wow, cheaper than I thought. Look at that. We can we can date this precisely when this. I love little extras like this. I know it's not a really vintage vacuum. When I saw it, I knew I wanted it because I had one back in the day, and it just reminds me of you know a certain period of time in my life. But look, we can see. So this was cheap. It was thirty nine ninety four, and it was bought by. Well, it's bought from a shop called Kets in Egham, Surrey. And they paid $39.94 and paid cash. Wow, that is fantastic to get just a little bit of extra history. What's the date? The date, Roger. We want the date, don't we? Here it is. 86. This is bought on the 27th of June, 1986. Wow. And a lovely another thing I love to have. We have the ah, oh, there is supposed to be a dusting brush. I think it could be missing. It does show a dusting brush, which is surprising for a budget vacuum. I didn't think it would come with one. There's, that's all the that's all you get. These these instructions are, are just almost mint. No scribbles on them, no tears. So that's good. Right. We've even got in the box, but this wouldn't have come with a fitted plug. That would have been attached to the plug when you bought the plug to fit to the machine. I think there's possibly a delivery coming for me. I don't know. Normally, when a van passes by slowly, it means it's going to turn round and deliver something else. Here it is in a wedge. It's Wedgwood Green, who recall this colour. Now we do have. The crevice tool in very very good condition but sadly can't win them all there's no dusting brush unless it's hiding under here <laughs> there's not really any room for it there is another receipt there ah oh, crikey there's a receipt for 70 pence and i think that'll be for the plug right then oh it's made a little bit of a mess take off the polystyrene I do quite like this color in fact it matches I've just realized it matches my turbo power that I've got in this color scheme okay well so far the only disappointment is the lack of the dusting brush but the machine itself looks pretty good okay let's have a closer look at the Hoover Spirit well here's the cleaner itself and a very compact basic lightweight machine it is i've given it a rudimentary wipe down just so i don't get covered in dust when i'm showing it to you so there are a few paint marks on here but they will come off just wiped it with a surface wipe but i am absolutely thrilled with the condition of this this is going to look almost new once it's had a you know a little bit more TLC it's very basic this would have appealed to the first time buyer somebody who maybe have just moved into the new flat can't really afford much or it might have appealed to an elderly person who wants something lightweight and basic a lot of older people I'm not sure if it's the same nowadays but a lot of older people didn't really like all the fancy gadgets we saw in the 80s they didn't want the the fancy lights and the electronic controls and all that palaver they just wanted a machine with an on-off switch that sucked up the dirt and that's what they certainly got if they went for the hoover spirit um so this is it it's so so basic as i said the body shares the same body more or less as the power glide but as you can see there are no wheels on this machine in fact there's no caster either just underneath we've got a dome here and two sort of skids at the back so you know it just pulls along scrapes along the carpet or floor no bag ejector either to uh, eject the dust bag hopefully there'll be a bag inside and there should be a filter inside this machine as well of course no automatic cord rewind nothing nothing like that just bare bones on off switch this is exhaust 
vent at the back here. Filtration on this would have been pretty basic, just the bag and a pre-motor filter. There may be a diffuser hidden somewhere behind this grill, but it's obviously not one that the user is supposed to, to replace. You'd have to undo these screws to remove the end cap here. Got a little Hoover roundel there in black, black and silver on there. So let's have a look. I've already told you the serial number, if that uh, matches up with the old uh, guarantee card. But we'll have a closer look at this here. We can find out the wattage. So here we have it. It's a Hoover Model S4334, 240 volts, 50 hertz. It's only got a 650 watt motor. So the serial number is S4334, 5090207 trademarks of Hoover PLC made by Hoover PLC Great Britain. The cleaner stands securely on its end if you want to clean stairs, or obviously you can put it on its end when storing in your cupboard. But also it goes on its end for replacing the dust bag. And to do that, there's a little black clip here, so we press that in. I think, yes. And then the, oops, oof, phew, <coughs> bit of dust. E yuck. Oh dear, oh dearie me. It's a bit of a calamity in there, I'll show you that in a minute. That's going to need replacing. I don't know if I can get a filter. I'll have to look out for a filter. I'll be able to get something to cut to fit. So here's the end cap. I think it's basically, oh no, there is a sort of a clip. There is a clip, look. A little plastic clip to secure the collar of the bag. Warning, oh look. Warning, air fresheners must not be used in this cleaner. And we've got Hoover copyright. These, they started doing that, I think it was in the 80s, they started putting a sort of a copyright symbol. Can we see that, folks? It's a bit difficult with the lighting, getting it close enough. But anyway, we've got a seal all the way around to keep the suction in. It's very, very basic, but still, as I said, what was this? 30 something pounds? I've, oh, I've forgotten. 39, so 40 pounds, let's say, with the plug. For 40 pounds, the quality is, is far superior. I know I'm like a broken record when I harp on about the quality of things back in the day, but when this was in the shops, you would be able to buy a lot of electronics and domestic appliances made in the UK. It was commonplace. You could buy kettles, toasters, irons, of course, your major appliances, your washing machines, your tumble dryers, your fridge freezers, all available from UK manufacturers made in the UK. So, yeah, things have gone downhill. Now, ooh, dearly me. Now, I don't know if this has a two-part. Ah, we can see what filter system this would have had because I'm not sure if we can see in there, but it's completely perished, as they often do. So I don't know if I'll be able to get an original filter for this, but it doesn't actually show the filter. I will be able to get something to cut I can cut to fit that. It's just a square I need to cut out. Um, it says about the bags. Filters. Ah, oh, there is a little part. In addition to the paper bag, ah, your cleaner is provided with two other dust filters. A square loose coarse filter is located at the bottom of the bag compartment and a round fixed fine filter is located underneath it. Well, ah, oh, they've both perished. That's a shame. I was hoping one could be salvaged. Well, very common for this to happen. Look, absolutely. I don't know what they make this stuff out of, but it just does not survive, you know, long term. It's just, you should not be able to pull this apart as easily as that. Let's pop it in. <laughs> Pop it in there. Sometimes these can mark the carpet and I've only just shampooed this carpet, so. Mm. Yeah, so this is the, oh dear, the remains of that uh, coarse 
that I can get something. I've, 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 I've prob probably got something in stock that I can use as a replacement for that. But unfortunately, we've also lost this filter. Oh, look at that. Look at how it's molded itself to the shape of the grill underneath. Ugh. And we can see, look, that is that is all we have underneath there. So I will turn this on. Obviously, we're going to turn this on in a minute, but I'm just going to quickly suck out all this mess. We won't bother with a filter. I'm not going to do much of a, a pickup test with this until I've found filters. I'll search under power glide because I'll have to see. I have to look at my power glide video because I don't know where my power glide actually is. I've got it. I've still got it, but where I've got it stored is anybody's guess. But I will look at my power glide video in case I show the filters that that came with, because I think they could be the same. So I'm going to search under power glide filters as well, because I might have more chance of getting them than the spirit filter. OK, I'm just going to vac up all this mess from inside and then we'll hopefully be able to switch this Hoover Spirit on. So there you go, that's a lot cleaner than it was now. That disintegrated filter has been vacuumed up. It's going to pop the bag back in and we'll switch this machine on. Before I switch it on, we'll, we'll have a look at the lovely control panel and look at this built-in carry handle <laughs> and it's a, it's a very light cleaner and the carry handle is at a very good point of balance. So this would be very good for the stairs. You could easily hold this with one hand while directing the hose and nozzle with the other. Good little machine for cleaning out the car as well, I suspect. So here's the control panel, such as it is, with just one chunky rocker switch to turn the machine on and off. I absolutely love the font of this. I always have liked it. The font in spirit. Now, to me, that screams Art Deco. That looks very sort of a 20s font. There probably is a name for that font, so any of you who know what that font is called, please let me know in the comments section. It says under here, Made in Britain. And of course, this was at a time when Queen Elizabeth II used to do her own vacuuming because this machine is by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, manufacturers of vacuum cleaners and laundry equipment, Hoover PLC, Greenford, Middlesex. Well, I think that's about all I can say about this vacuum cleaner, but you're watching this to see if it blows up. Well, let's hope it doesn't for my sake. Just point out before I do plug in, always delay the inevitable. It's got a lovely ever ready plug. And as I said, I think that 70 pence per seat inside the box would have been for this plug and possibly the people in the shop fitted the plug. I think Fred was an older gentleman. That's what I'm thinking. This used to belong to Fred. Fred may have shuffled off this mortal coil by now, but don't worry, Fred, your vacuum cleaner is safe in my hands. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll turn the spirit on. Oh dear, that's, that's a bit ominous, isn't it? It's called spirit. Well, let's hope it doesn't hold the spirit of Fred. Okie dokie, where am I going to plug it in? Oh, uh, over here, very short cable. So if you'll excuse me, I'll just uh, pop over here to the mains socket. Okay, can you hear me? Right, there we go. Okay, fingers crossed folks. Well, oh, that sounds good. To my ears, there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong. And for a budget cleaner, it's not a bad sound, is it? It's, it sounds pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Really, really pleased 
for five pounds fifty, whatever it was, with a bit of postage, it was under twelve pounds. Under twelve pounds to get this delivered. Very happy with it. Now, while I've remembered, <coughs> there's a bit of a bit of dust in the air now. Obviously, it's going to need a little bit more of a clean up. Um, I'm going to get my suction valve do thingy my jig you know that thing I've got we'll just see how powerful it is at the cleaner end and at the end of the hose here's my vacuum gauge I often forget to use this in videos in fact there's quite a lot of videos you've yet to see that won't feature this because the videos are that old it's before I actually got this I got this for Christmas 2018 that was it 2018 we're now into time of making the video Winter July, it's the 1st of July, I think, 2019. So, we're going to shove this into the cleaner end and we'll just register how much uh, inches of water lift we can get from a 650 watt motor. <laughs> Well, that seemed to measure about 41, which is pretty mediocre, but then this is a, a low, low wattage vacuum cleaner. At a time, we had higher wattage machines, although they weren't that high. They didn't get to the, the ridiculous 2,400 watt machines. That is very loose. Now, I have got a new hose, well, a second hand, but replacement hose coming for this. And it's probably a good thing because that is not going to really stay locked in position the hose i've got coming could be from a jet it has the exact same handle as this but it's uh, got more of a freedom style end it's black so it will look it look okay in fact the spirit i had i'm sure it had the hose similar to the jet i'll have to dig out an old photo because i do have some of that machine yes that's not going to really stay on very well i just want it to stay on enough so we can have a look at the suction at the end of the hose this is going to need a good clean up anyway the tools the tools are dirtier than the machine okay let's have a look at this so it's about 41 at the cleaner end but i could hear some suction escaping so we might get a slightly higher result <laughs> No, I think that was about the same, wasn't it? It was around about 41 at the hose end. But uh, yeah, it's not going to set the world on fire regarding performance, but really for the money, for 40 pounds, you can't really complain. Uh, certainly a good enough cleaner for a small home, your first home, or as I said, for an elderly person who just wants something basic and lightweight. All in all though, absolutely thrilled with this little machine. It took ages to arrive. I never thought I'd get it. But when it was delivered in its original box, I was very, very happy indeed. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about the Hoover Spirit vacuum cleaner, please comment below. And I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.